Good morning guys, MC Procrastinating here for another two minute video as part of a two minute series. If you don't know what a two minute series is, check the link below and you'll find out all about it. Topic of today, counter steering and how it can save your life. Now look, there's lots and lots of videos on there about counter steering. Um, I'm not going to discuss the complete complexities of how counter steering works. I'm just going to basically talk about how the principles of using and uh, counter steering in an emergency situation, and I'll talk about that from experience, how it can actually go on to save you. And inherently, how you just need to think about certain things and program your body so that it will respond in that manner will help save you. So let's go back and I'll look um, at the situation that actually happened to me, and it was very, very early on. It was my first real run out on the open road after I bought my full-size bike, which at the time was the SV650, and after passing my motorcycle test. So I was living in Wales at the time, and I was uh, way out in a country road. And um, I was riding along, and I was conscious I had three or four bikes behind me that I noticed in my mirror, and you know, you don't want to feel that you're slowing other people down. And unfortunately, I went into a bend that was quite a tight bend, and I swear downwards, my leg was kicking out to the side, I felt almost there was this inherent thing inside me that said, you know what, mate, you're going too fast here. You might as well go straight through the bushes because it's, I don't know, there's this thing inside your brain that just tells you it's just easier to go through the bushes than it is try and go around the bend and come off, right? Hard thing to explain. However, there was this, fortunately, rewind back a bit. The person that got me in a motorcycle, or in a motorcycles, had always told me, mate, I'm going to give you one bit of advice. There's a thing called counter steering. And if you ever go into a bend, the first thing you need to remember is the chances are that that bend, even though you think you can't get around it, the bike will get around it. So mentally you think you can't get around it, but the bike will always get around it. And I was like, what do you mean? What do you mean? How can you know? The bike will guaranteed in almost every situation outperform you. Right, so that was key point number one. So what he's telling me is, no matter how much I think I've overextended myself, the chances are that the bike will always have the capability to do it if I put the right input in. And number two, what is the right input? Well, he says, basically, when you go into a bend and you're going too fast and you want to panic and you want to hit the brakes, don't do it. Basically, just push in the opposite direction. <laughs> it sounds the most counterintuitive, funny thing, counterintuitive thing you could ever do. Push the handlebar in the opposite direction and the bike will automatically go on its side. So when I say go on its side, it will lean in and then you just relax and go around. So let's jump back. So I'd, I'd thought about what he'd been trying to say, like push the bike in the opposite direction. And I guess like at slow speeds, I kind of done a little bit of this, you know, you push the handlebar like that and it kind of goes the opposite direction a little bit, but you don't really, really get it. Coming into this bend now, I get the leg wobble and I pull myself together and just go, I'm gonna bite the bullet. And it really was like a tense moment. Just, I just pushed the opposite direction and wow, the bike just went round like that. My leg came in and I went round and I made the bend. And I will say my heart, my stomach was up through my throat. The guys behind me on the bike probably see my leg coming out, probably go, oh boy, we've got, we're, 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 gonna, we're gonna see it all now, guys. Um, fortunately, that one tip saved me. So look, I'll put a couple of links in below about what counter steering is, etc. because to be fair, um, I think I've seen a couple of videos on this just because you come across them when you're you know, looking through YouTube videos, etc. And you know, some people can overcomplicate the hell of it. Uh, and look, I don't really want to get into debate of how complicated or how uncomplicated it should be, other than I can just say it really, really is just simple. Right. Some people go, you push down on the handlebars, you push away from the handlebars, and it really is. It's kind of like, um, without going into too much detail, you know, you just push the handlebar away from you, right? You're not pushing it down, you're, you're pushing it in the direction. So just, you just push the handlebar in the opposite direction very slightly. It's just like a little tap. It's just like, it's just like this, just like that. And when the wheel turns the other direction, the bike just leans over. Again, I'm not gonna get into it, but look, it saved my life and it has done on a couple of occasions. 
Most of the time now, I try and refrain from misjudging a bend using the uh, vanishing point. And I'll do another video on what the vanishing point is. But for now, let me know your thoughts, guys. Have you had any real close calls and uh, corners? Or have you used counter steering to its full potential? Do you understand what counter steering is? For now, MC Procrastinator out.